Good morning, YouTube. Good morning, YouTube. Happy Wednesday. We have some packing to do. I'm going to show you guys what we sold overnight. So first up today, we sold two packs of Nicorette. We just picked these up this past weekend. They're brand new in the box. Paid almost nothing, maybe five bucks. Sold for 55. We also sold a copy of Heretics of Dune by Frank Herbert. We got a bunch of Dune books. This is the only one we've listed so far, but it sold for $38. Somebody's nasty old uh, garage door opener. <laughs> Somebody bought this for how much? Like uh, Fifteen dollars. Like yeah, seventeen bucks. It was. We paid a dollar yep. for this. Um, you know what they say? Sony sells. Sony sells. This nice boom box is going out for forty dollars. Fully tested by Chris. Good job. Uh, we sold a brand new sealed copy of the Jungle Book on VHS in a puffer case. I don't know who the hell wants this. But somebody paid us like $15 for it. So, okay, it was probably 25 cents. One of our last Pokemon games is going. This is the huge lot we bought from some literal children. Literally children. We bought a huge lot of games from. And this one is one of the last. It sold for $47.99. This is something we just picked up also. It's this huge Beach Boys set. I don't know, some collector's type edition with a bunch of discs in there. That went for like $60, right? It was almost free in this huge lot we got. And then last thing going out, this is kind of funny. This is um, a light for a picture frame, you know, old style. Like if you go in a spooky mansion or something and they have their paintings lit up. That's what this is. So when we went to that rummage sale, we got all that artwork. One of the paintings had this light on it, and I thought, I don't want to ship it like that. So I took this off, and then I looked at it, and I'm like, I bet this sells. And what do you know? And it sure it does. Sells. We sold it for $32 plus shipping. Now let's pack them up. Ah. ah! Let's go to the post office. So before we head to the post office, we found a... Oh my god, there's a rooster out here. We found a... One day a one day Wednesday morning estate sale. So uh, let's see if we can find anything good in here. All right, here we are. Everything must go. This is for pickers, you know? Let's see if we can find any valuable guys around. I do like these guys. Those are awfully cute. Is that that same one? Not the same one. We sold one like that before. Yeah. It's cute. Yeah. I wonder what the prices are like. How's it going? Good, I found the book stash over here. Oh, book stash. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of flashlight usage going on in this house. Well, those are sometimes the best houses to go to. I know, these are fun. Okay, well, good. I'm going to keep digging. Sure. Got one I just found. Vintage Disneyland t shirt. I think I it's single it. stitch. <gasps> it's not. What? Maybe it's not. I don't know. It looks old, though. Whatever. I want it. It's in nice shape, too. And Chris found this old Miami Dolphins 
snap back, which is probably pretty good too. This stuff's gonna require a little research. What else is over here? What other t-shirts do they have? There's some nine or something. Yeah, this is single stitch. Large. Look at that. They're in nice shape too. What is that? T-shirts. 49ers. 49ers, yeah. There's another something here. Grandson is a Navy officer. Just to the point. That's a double stitch. I don't, I don't know about that. I don't know enough about vintage clothes. Bible. The living Bible. I don't know a lot of Bibles. Hmm, okay. This looks good. Oh, yeah. I'll beat up. Maybe worth something. <laughs> oh, a little Siamese baby. That's cute. It's a planter. I don't know if it's vintage, I might just want it. barely read that. Okay. I'm recording and do a little research here. Oh my gosh, what is going on here? Digging. The camera's just picking up dust flying. But, uh, it looks like it's snowing. I've been trying to keep my eyes closed, you know? It's a good idea. Hmm. Is that your? What is that? No, it's uh, the guy from Flintstones. It's a blue Dino. Oh no, he was trying to get to the marbles and he just knocked them all out in there. Whoops. Oh. We're really working for this stuff, you know? Alright, well we did salvage a few marbles. Oh my gosh, I can't believe the crap. Look at how it looks. It looks like it's snowing on my phone. Mm -hmm. We got a big thing of marbles. Uh, some old, old, and I mean dusty and old binoculars. Let's take all our crap and go uh, settle up. Let's do it. <laughs> Don't need a dresser cute. or you know, nothing like that, huh? What's no. your offer no. on the pot? Um, I don't know if you like my offer. <laughs> I don't know, you never know until you make it. Oh. Bucks. oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> Those are neat. Pretty neat. Sri Lanka. But I don't like your uh, <laughs> your low. <laughs> about thirty. Thirty, that'll do it for us. Gotta okay. start low so we can go somewhere, you know? <laughs> you need a jump, right? Gotta take a jump somewhere. Since you said he's coming in low, I'd go ahead and raise you. <laughs> Thank you. Do you have money? Only oh, that's right. right. I'm going to put some hand sanitizer on here. Smear the dirt around. That's right. Even though germ theory is fake. So we got Look out of there for 30 bucks. That was pretty good. We got like 20 pounds of marbles, which that alone is worth a lot. Yeah, that was a that good pick. Binoculars and a lot of other vintage Yeah, those stuff. binoculars. Chris said they're like World War II binoculars, and they go for probably 150 or so. Mm -hmm. And we got tons of other stuff. Easy listers, easy shippers. 
Yeah, we're really happy with it. We're getting real good at this. Mm -hmm. Now we gotta now we gotta go to the post office. Uh, yeah. Um <laughs> Oh Well Oh. Well, why did they? Yeah, why are they? Hmm. Hmm. There they go. Off into the world. All our packages. Okay guys, so we're home. We're working out and check it out. Look what you sold. Oh, this whole set sold for $400, but there's a problem. So I got really excited and I packed them up and they fit perfect in the Hungry Root box. But guess what? They're 81 pounds. And you can't media mail over 70 pounds. So <laughs> the only way to do this is media mail because we have, we sold it free shipping. It's probably going to be like 40 bucks to ship media mail, but I'm going to have to cut this open now and split it into two boxes. So let's uh, see how that works out. Okay, so the books are now in one 48 pound package and a 20 pound package, which I don't really understand because it was 80 pounds and then I split it up and it became 48 and 20. Hmm. Anyway, it cost us uh, $47 to ship. So $400 free shipping, paid 47. It's fine. I mean, we paid, I don't know, $3 for the whole set maybe. So there you go. All right, so that's all packed. I thought I'd show you guys some more stuff we got from the estate sale this morning. And one of the things being a giant jug of marbles. Based on the other marbles we got, I wanna say there's probably like, I don't know, like maybe three to 400 marbles here. And looking at eBay listings, we'll probably get, if I lot everything together, maybe close to $200. Vintage marbles are hot right now, okay, bolo. Here's the rest of the stuff we got at that house. So these shirts are kind of a bust because I thought they were vintage, they're not. They're also stained. I got excited, I saw this 49ers one. I'm like, oh cool, they had a training camp in Stockton, so cool. Not vintage, stained, has a hole in it. Okay, so those are a loss. You guys saw me pick up this jacket, which is pretty sweet. Um, this will probably go for like 40 to 50. Chris got this old dolphin's hat. I don't know what that goes for. It's a little beat up, but it's a snapback and it's vintage. So that's a good. Uh, some other crap we got. Um, apparently old McCall's sell and they had a bunch. So we like to sell reading material. You know, yeah. This is a vintage tissue box cover, and apparently they sell all the time, maybe like 20, 25. But I actually like the color on this one better than a lot of the ones I saw listed, so maybe I can ask a little bit more. Here's a few more of the things. This looked awesome. It's like a tray with old, um, it's a vintage, old Vegas hotel logos, and it had the golden nugget. Oh, the golden nugget, you know, the cards that are so valuable. Um, but we looked it up, it's not worth too much. They must have made a bunch. Maybe like $30. This is that World War II era Binox. Chris looked it up, maybe about $150. This guy's cute, he doesn't have any markings, but I like old ceramic kitties, and so I'll probably put it up for $25. Found this, it's a Zippo 8-ball lighter. There's a particular 8-ball lighter that says Camel right here, and then has an 8-ball that goes often and for pretty good, like 50 plus. I couldn't find this exact one, so I'm thinking maybe I can get at least 20 for it. This, I'm just going to take a chance on. There are no listings. I couldn't find anything on this company. Sachi Silken Cologne. I can get it in the sun. Oh yeah, see the shimmer? It's really neat. It's from Stockton. Local, so it must have been a small company. But you know, you never know who might be looking for it, and I'm just gonna put it up and I'm gonna ask. Probably $39.99. Give them a little room to come down. And then uh, this is a Sharif set of handbags. It's like a little wristlet, a couple wristlets in a wallet. Ooh, this feels like there's something in it. And I couldn't find this online either, but Sharif handbags do sell for pretty good money. This seems pretty nice in good shape with the box, so I'm gonna put it up for like probably $69.99. Let somebody make me an offer. And then the last thing we got was this um, Christmas vest, which I don't really like selling clothes that much, but right when we first started, 
uh, reselling. I did sell a Christmas vest around this time and they sell pretty well, probably 30 to 40 bucks. So not bad, that's all the stuff we got for the $30 we paid this morning. All right, well it's six o'clock and I'm sitting on the ground sorting marbles. So shout out to Russell Resells on Instagram. He told us about uh, something referred to as pontal marks on marbles. I don't think I'm even gonna be able to show it on here. But some of them have this little like nubber end that uh, apparently means that they were handmade, like glass blown. So I'm trying to pick all those out because they're worth apparently a lot more money. So I have two auctions, pontal lot and then non pontal lot. But yeah, our evening is gonna be spent in the garage because we're on a listing spree. That's right. And we're gonna sign off for the night. Am it's, I on uh, you sure are. Doing the good list of the big sets over there. Oh yeah, trying to keep the big guys out of here. Yeah, but yeah, we're out. We'll be out here tonight and then we'll catch you guys in the morning. Have a good night, guys. Good night, YouTube. Bye.